This is all child's play. I'm, you should I'm the only one in on it. You should hear the stories and commercial that like you cannot tell on a show and you, no one will ever talk about on the record. Yeah. Like shit happens all over the place, all kinds of baloney and shenanigans. Mm. So who doesn't know about it is the real question here. Like this goddamn real estate market here in Canada is littered with fraud at every level of the thing. It's insane from planning, right? From purchasing land, the shenanigans that go on, like it's just on and on, like with assignments and sales and I, it's pretty pre, like appraisals and mortgages and like there's a home lot. inspections like home right? inspections you get your pre-listing home sakes, inspection you get your buddy, to, your buddy to come in you say look man you can't go in the basement to do the home inspection right you can't go on the roof to go you can't go into the attic i got send stuff pictures. you know, in the closet but it's good don't worry just put it in the report that you're there it's okay yeah right on this house they said in the report that it needed like a new roof at some point in time but when we actually decided to do the roof and the guy went up there, I got a picture of like a tarp on the section of roof that you can't see from anywhere on the on on, on ground level. Right. Yeah. 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 Like, what the hell? How long has there been a tarp <laughs> on my roof? So crazy. Uh, but like, you know, I, sh I should be able to sue that inspector. Right. Like, there's... good luck. Well, that's the whole even point. when the, even What's when the you point? hire just so you know, even when you hire an inspector and you um and he misses something so you hire an inspector and he screws up royally you as the buyer i can't remember the name of this clause but you as the buyer have signed an agreement that limits uh, the the liability that the inspector has and it's part of their agreement and they won't give you the report unless you sign that agreement and part of that agreement limits their liability so even though they have insurance and there has been challenges where you can take them to court and say, you know, well, this is not fair. They agree just, you know, um, neglect or whatever. Um, this is this is what um, the contract says. So really, home inspectors, they're not getting sued. So what's the, the seller point? Gets sued. If you can't sue them, if they're not liable and you can't rely on them. And, and, the and, and their reports are only uh, like suggestions and home inspections. Yeah. God love the 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 home inspectors out there. They can be they can be lifesavers for somebody who doesn't understand, you know, how the house works and and obviously being able to identify certain things, hundred percent. But for the most part, most home inspections aren't worth the amount of money that you're paying. So let's say it's five hundred dollars, you're not going to get five hundred dollars worth of savings or information because you had that report. But let me be yeah. clear, TK. I'm not talking about the inspector that works for me that I'm paying. I'm talking about the inspector you're forced to rely on in certain market conditions that are that are offered to you as something reliable, right? Yeah. Because it's like an appraisal. Whoever's paying for the appraisal, one way or another, like they have input. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. And like most people like to give their boss or the person who's going to give them their next meal, you know, they like to kind of appease them as best they can. Right. Yeah. So like, you know, 1.685 turns into one seven pretty easily if it has to. Right. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That comp at 1.9, I went in that house. It was, it was like totally oh, like the pictures look good, okay. but it's actually really, really bad inside. Right, it's yeah, way okay. smaller. The rooms are tiny. So yeah, yeah. that square footage, that's wrong. That's not, that's not the real square be? footage. Yeah, Our houses are basically the same. Your expert opinion. What do you think I should put on this piece of just paper? Just like one, eight, five or something just to be safe. Yeah, you know, I could, I could probably yeah, good. make a case for that. All right. Good. I'll, uh, I'll send you, you want a coffee? Yeah. All right. We'll talk to you later. <laughs> that's how it goes though, right? No that's, kidding. That's, it, how it goes, it, yeah. that's how it goes when, when we're doing it on the show. Right. But, uh, I digress for once. Sorry, TK. We're doing so, a lot of dramatization so, today here. Well, um we get we get to have fun when it's the two of us right yeah. um but okay so we have people making a big hullabaloo over these two agents like nobody knows that this is going on i love the reactions i love the mortgage brokers who are like what like really people are doing mm. this in my company there's you there's it's not happening here this i can assure you it does mm. not happen in this brokerage ever ever mm. and if it does 
I definitely, I don't know about it at all. Okay. Yeah. 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 But I, I can't. Have no idea, okay. <laughs> right. But, and then same thing with the, with the realtors. It's like, oh, you know, people are putting in phony offers and they're all like, yeah, I told you, I told you this was a problem. I, yeah. I told you this. So was let me explain. Let's stop right there. Okay. Let's go back to this topic here. Rico has a mechanism. Okay. In Ontario, real estate council of Ontario. This happened to me once. I'll give you the whole story. If you say that there's an offer, okay, you're required to keep a form, which is called a form 801, which is a offer summary document or a copy of the complete offer mm -hmm, mm -hmm. for however long, I'm not sure, but probably years. It's the, it's digital. Like you should be able to keep it forever. Sorry. Anyways, so if a buyer, because nobody cares if an agent complains about another agent, but if a buyer says, I went and made an offer on that property and there was five offers and I want to know if that agent was telling me the truth. Whether or not you got the property or not is another story. But after the offer date, you can submit a request and within so many hours, 24, 48, whatever it is, it's pretty quick, three days maybe, Rico will send a notice to that agent and say, provide documentation that there were offers. Ooh, and you must, as the listing agent, provide proof that there was offers. So we have Ooh, a mechanism man. for this. Maybe, maybe in Quebec, it's a little bit different. It definitely is. Quebec's weird. You know that. Sure. Anyways, so Ontario, that's that's what you do. So if you're... you're you know, sus suspicious of an agent doing that. That's what you can do now. But what if you lost or no better or better? What if you won? <laughs> you bought the house, right? You bought the house. You know, you thought you were competing you were with all duped. these people <laughs> and, and now you paid a hundred gram over asking and because there was one other offer and then it turns out there wasn't another offer. Oh. So what does that mean? Right? So what happens is um, you, I guess would somehow try to prove that you could, that you've got some damages and maybe sue the, agent and there would be some you know some errors and emissions insurance like i don't really know but bottom line is it happened to me once so this guy so i sold i had this property in may 2022 markets crashed clients are moving overseas they're gone like they, they have to move they're, they've already settled everything and they missed they called us in a month too late i guess so i list the property it's taking a little bit longer to sell it's like a month now or something so market conditions and uh so finally a guy calls us directly and says um I want to make an offer, you know, everyone would kind of notice that, you know, sometimes we can always tell when a buyer, they're really trying to do things on their own. It's like, they're, they're, they're trying to like, of like circumvent the system. So eventually we just said like, look, get an agent, make an offer. You don't have to use us, bring your own agent. We don't care. So he ends up bringing an agent, go through the transaction, calling me directly and all this kind of stuff, trying to get more information. Bottom line is he, we had another offer that we were just about to accept. He then beat that offer. Right. He got the property. Yeah. So the market continued to crash afterwards. He was upset. And maybe like early this year or something like that, I got a Rico thing saying, we want to see proof. Because he's probably sitting at home dreaming one day when, oh, TK Butler, you know, he yeah, told me there was another that. offer. And, oh, I overpaid for this property. The market's going down. I read on Twitter. And so he went on Rico and decided to have them send me a notice to prove that. that. And I was just I smiling ear to ear because I keep everything. Yeah. So I was just like, no problem. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Send yeah. it off. I never heard back from them. It means right. I beat the case. So, you know, but that's the They process. should have to pay you for like the accusation being false. Something. I want, I want lunch or something. Something. I want lunch. Yeah. An I don't feel bad telling that story because that guy was a real like tough, tough cookie there. You know, like he was really just trying this to like is how it beat the system. Be. And in the end, you know, he, he got a great house. He's fine.